In few days' time, political campaigns will kick off and political parties and their supporters are already warming up to start mass mobilization, street campaigns, large rallies, and open-air carnivals. One issue political parties are not yet taking into consideration is the security of the campaigns. How secured will political rallies be at a time when kidnapping is becoming rampant and bandits are op operating? How can safety be guaranteed in political rallies. Philip Agbese is a security analyst and he joins us now in the studio to have a conversation really about... He's also, uh, Philip Agbese is also the All Progressives Congress House of Representatives candidate, I think, uh, in Benue State, am I right? So that's yes. why this conversation is quite apt. But I want to talk to you first as a security expert before we talk about politics. But it concerns you at the end of the day. Really. Um, but Philip, we've seen assurances from security agents not too long ago the inspector general of police had assured nigerians that the elections will be hitch free with no security threats but yet even just yesterday we had a conversation here on arise news where some local governments in tarabo state and other states as well have been taken over by insecurity and people are worried for their lives so as a security expert how concerned are you about our level of security right now especially now that campaigns are about to start and politicians will go all across the country conversing for votes well uh thank you for having me tonight i just want to quickly say that uh, as political actors this time we have a lot to do. We have a lot to do as uh, politicians and as patriots. Uh, as patriots in the sense that we should be concerned not because of the political party that we want to win elections in 2023, but because of the interests of our country as patriots. And as political actors, we also were also interested in who wins the 2023 election. But I think what is very, very important and should be the most important thing to all of us as citizens of this great nation is the fact that we must be interested in the security of this country. So far, so good. I must give it to the Nigerian Armed Forces and the sister security agencies that the security situation in the country in the last three, four months has actually improved. Uh, for some time, we've have, we haven't had issues with the Kaduna uh, Abuja Express Road, the cases of kidnapping are uh, on the low now. Uh, the question of Boko Haram terrorism has also gone down greatly. And if you compare that with the situation we had in 2015, where uh, the then PDP government was trying to midwife an election that would give birth to another regime, we had about 13 local government areas under the, uh, the control of Boko Haram terrorists. Uh, today we are talking about Taraba State. It is not actually a known fact. It could be uh, a thing of speculation in some quarters. You can't and say it's speculation. That, that, that's we had, no we speculation. Had an who was mm. here, gave us videos which we could see. Yes. We played all of that here on Horizon. So you yes. cannot go there. And you have, and you have a, 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 an army battalion in uh, Wukari there. So what's really yes. the problem? Yes. Uh, we, I understand we, the, the Nigerian Armed Forces, they are doing their best. They are tackling all of that. And uh, I strongly believe that uh, in the nearest few days, because they've been able to tackle the issues in the northwest uh, to the northeast. Uh, Taraba is a recent uh, development, and I believe in the next few days they will also be able to tackle that. But that's not the biggest issue now. You know, uh, preparations to election in Nigeria, because of the kind of political actors we have in Nigeria, we have this emergency security situations that we normally deal with four or five months to general elections. Uh, people disguise as themselves as terrorists, you know, in an attempt to, you know, either blackmail the ruling government or uh, to, you know, create certain situations that uh, allow for, that, that give room for political advantages to their political parties. I'm not mentioning any political party in specific because, of course, today in Nigeria, we have the PDP in some states, we have the APC in some states. Nobody is actually... And you have Abga in one state. Yes, you have, in one state in Nigeria? Yes. yes you have Abga in Anambra state, right. So, good. Like in Anambra state, today we have, you know, security challenges as a result of the unknown government. And, uh, of course, because we are going into a general election, uh, people will try to even use people, 
you know, disguised as unknown government outside the existing security situation. Let me ask you a direct question. <laughs> You've yes. gone around in circles, but I still didn't get my answer. I said, are you optimistic that elections will be able to hold all across the country in 2023? Yes, of course, because even in 2014, when we had bombings across the country, the then federal government, or that, uh, former President Gulo Kabila Janata, uh, went into action, were able to hold the elections. And today, uh, with the current security situation in the country, there's no state. Because recently, I watched on television when uh, even in Bu local government area, there was this, a, a rally. In Chibok, there was a rally. In Moguno, there was a rally. We are having political rallies you know, across the country today without security threats. Okay. Uh, well, very well said, you know, about the security situation and uh, political rallies. If, if, as a security expert and a politician, two togas you wear, would you be advocating for a large rally or minimum rally of people's convergence? You talk of the mega rallies and the rest. We're no, the, looking at because of the securities. No, 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 no. I, I think what we have done, because I'm a member of the All Progressive Congress, uh, a flag bearer of our great party for the federal constituency, Adolf Popo, Badi, both federal constituency, Muni State. Even in my federal constituency, we have some of the security issues which we are dealing with. The security agencies are actually working. We have the presence of the Nigerian Armed Forces equally supporting and helping us to go through all this. Uh, what I'm trying to say in essence is that, yes, large rallies permit for democratic uh, participation by all actors. Rallies are not majorly for members of the political parties. They are for the party supporters, party fans, and even fans of the uh, candidates who are not members of the political parties, but they participate. And then in the last few years, the security situation has greatly, in the last few months, not years, Last few months, the security situation has greatly improved. So I will advocate for large rallies in the sense that, take the APC for instance. We recently, the, uh, our presidential candidate, Ashwa Jubola Metinibu, uh, constituted his campaign council. And on that team, you have people like Lieutenant General Tuku Yusuf Boatai, uh, General Abayomi Olonishaki as members of that campaign council you know, in the security directorate of the campaign council. That is to say that these people who have willingly offered their services to be part of the campaign are ready to be part of the campaign and to support to the extent that they and make they, campaign. And they, very and they APC members? Yeah, no, what I'm willing, they are APC no, members. What, what I'm trying to say in essence is that the APC is led by example to say we are ready to accommodate people, you know, in large rallies because we have people who can actually pinpoint the security issues tackle them, uh, even equally work together with the security apparatus of the country. And what I'm trying to say in essence is that other political parties, the obedient, the articulate and all of that, they also have to look at what the APC has done. Because it is in thinking into the future, you know, that the APC has come up with this security council in their campaign uh, organization to make sure that Nigerians who participate in rallies are safe and secured. Well, we're listening to you at the end of the day, Philip, but not all political parties, you must agree, have the resources to constitute a security council, like you put it, within the campaign council. No, I but don't I, think... Uh, but that's what you're, you're, you're no, 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 to. No, okay. no, 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 no. I don't think uh, members of these campaign councils uh, are going to be paid any money. It's not about or, no, money. You, you don't really, really need money. Canvassing for votes all across the country demands resources. Extra security demands more resources. No, but no, no, we are not parties, asking. Yes, a lot no, of parties no. are saying they are going to get creative in terms of how they go about seeking for votes. But in your opinion, as a security expert, as we wrap up this conversation, how can safety be guaranteed by the political parties, especially for those who they are trying to get to be on their side as we go into the elections? The political parties must be ready and willing to work with the Nigerian security agencies. We must be ready to work with the Nigerian police force. We must be ready to work with the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps. And where necessary, bring in the intervention of the Nigerian Armed Forces, who are always there, spread across the 36 states of the Federation, to provide certain interventions where the civil police are not, uh, the civil police presence on ground is not enough to accommodate the issues that may arise. 
Thank you so very much, Philip Agbesa there. Um, he's a security expert and also a candidate for the All Progressives Congress House of Representatives. You said that Dikbo Oboko? No, Oboko Oboko Federal Constituency. All right, mm -hmm. uh, Obinwe State. Thanks for coming on.